it was too late. My member had already sprung up to his fullest and it was touching against another of his own. <laughs> Those like thing open. Hey, what a hectic morning. Woo! Leo, don't tell me you want to join the shower. Hi guys, I'm Desmond. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll continue to play A Place to Call Home, a furry visual novel with a lot of soothing and sentimental elements. Before we start, please, please, I beg you to subscribe my channel. Let's get started. Wow, so hot! Filio. Well, hey there, hot stuff. Oh, so defined. It's too defined. His six packs. Oh, okay. Lotus, could you at least knock? Eh, uh, the bathroom door was open, so I let myself in. I gotta wash off the gunk from earlier. I smell like cake. Anyway, wanna shower together? <laughs> I can scrub your back for ya. Wow, this, this is too direct. No, go away for your turn outside. <laughs> Why say no? Why? <laughs> you should just say yes. But friends scrub each other's backs. We are friends, aren't we? Oh, okay, so we are not brothers, we are friends. You are just making excuses to have your back clean. Oh, come on, move over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the, the shower place is so it's so tiny. He pushed me aside and gladly let himself in. The store instantly became cramped and I had to squeeze myself to the wall. I wasn't bothered with him sharing a bath with me. In fact, my dad used to bath with me all the time when I was young. The problem was, I didn't have anything to cover my lower half. And I'm not used to anybody looking at me naked. He took the bottle of shampoo from my hand, hand and spilled an overly generous amount all over a buff scrub. There we go. Placing his hands on my back. Why did the music stop? Why? The soft parts of his palms touched the linings of my back, scrubbing with care. He knew my skin was sensitive. Why suddenly sound very... <laughs> very weird. A tinkling sensation then rang between my legs as his fingers slid through my neck, down to the underbone of my tail. It went on to what seemed like an eternity and I'll gladly spend it right here. Wow. This is... Wow. Okay, it's so erotic. All I could do was anxiously stare at the wall in front of me while I waited for him to finish. Okay, now let's do your front. Front? What do you mean? Face me. Filio, you are such a bad wolf. You are so... How to say? Demanding and commanding. I hesitated until common sense struck me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm perfectly capable of cleaning myself. But don't you want me to scrub you? His voice was low, but not quite a whisper. I... I got... I do want him too, but... I don't know. How he said that, make it sound like he meant something different. Just let me do it myself. Come on, just let me. Why are you so persistent? What's wrong about it anyway? Oh, the music suddenly turns naughty. I reached out for the scrub in his hand. My body was straight to his, squeezing his front viciously, rubbing his pecs, grinding against his washboard abs. And it was absolutely not the best time to get a... <laughs> Seriously? The scrub? Huh? It was too late. My member had already sprung up to his fullest and it was touching against another of his own. <laughs> Those like thing open. 
Hey, what a hectic morning! Woo! Leo, don't tell me you want to join the shower. I don't think the shower room fits three of us. Nice. Nothing a hot shower can fix. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. <laughs> oh. Stop moaning. Leo entered and paused, breathless. His eyes traced down to our crotch, and all I could do was freeze at his gaping face. What? What's going on? Yes. What? I mean no. Go and wait for your turn, lo. God, people can't have any privacy this day. I'll come back later then. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> you guys are treating me like... What? Wait. It's fine. Dot, dot, dot. Your turn to scrub my back. Oh my god. <sighs> we both finished buffing and dry off with our towels without uttering a word. I actually ended up washing his back. Oh, finally it's finished. I'm so shy. Uh, what the hell was he thinking? Hey. Question mark. You were... Uh, Pretty hard back there. <sighs> okay, uh, sorry, sorry. The hell? Why would I be? I feigned ignorance. My gaze on the opposite side. I was just excited from jumping around. I muttered. There was dropping in my chest. Bop, 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 bop. Thinking about it made my blood rush to my head in euphoria, but it's something I can't openly express to this wolf. Oh my god, Philo is really gorgeous. He's not like me after all. His body is way too huge. He's not gay. Are you sure he's not gay? I struck the feeling off. Philo, what do you think I should do today? Um, um, I think I'll read more visual novels. I've still got a pile to go through. Okay, this is lame. Uh, not lame, okay? Reading visual novel is good. But I don't understand why Filio like to read visual novel and then Leo like to read novels as well. Yeah, I think like maybe giving them different hobbies will make them make their char character more interesting. Oh dang, I also have to check on my ratings. Your children books? No. The novellas I've published a couple of years ago. Man, I can't wait to look at those shiny gold stars. Eh? You sure about getting those good reviews though? Of course, I'm a great writer, just so you know. Hmm. A bit doubtful of his claim, I always knew him to be a little bit over the top. His ego was mostly due to his beloved books, his accomplishments. He's a bit too selfish sometimes, he almost has no willingness to listen, even to his older brother Leo in fact. Always headstrong and believed in his rights, in which whenever they had an argument, the well-composed Leo would solemnly reply with a shrug, already giving up before the argument had even started. <coughs> What are you doing? Um, like it, my DIY cosplay of Amicus. Oh, you look good. Um, uh, it looks good. You look just like him. I couldn't help but smile. Oh, human. Aid me on my legendary conquest to become king of the wolf. But my family, my friends, my planet. I enacted the scene, arms in full action. Why must fate be so cruel? Human, endure thy suffering. I shall grant thee immense bounty in return. He held out a hand, inviting me to hold it. If not, love. I grabbed his hand and he gently took me in a spin, 
holding me by the waist as I stared into his eyes. Okay, this is quite romantic. Whatever shall I do to end this curse the gods have cast upon us? Our legacy shall not be forgotten. To the stars. He leaning closer, lips inches away from mine. Wow. Uh, you two done yet? Leo voice echo behind the door. I snap out of my trance and drop on the floor. Oh, sorry about that. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, right. I almost, almost forgot. I'm going with Leo today at the park. Hopefully, I will be able to gain something. So you really are serious about getting a job, huh? Yeah, my hands are already feeling cold just thinking about it. I'm pretty bad at being social. Hey, if you ever get nervous, you can always ask them down with your hunting skills. Haha, <laughs> I guess. Before going out, the wolf held the door knob, pausing for a moment. Let's do that again sometime. Haha, <laughs> question mark. Oh my goodness. He winked. Ooh, adorable. Le Filio is so flirty. Bad guy. Okay, but I like bad guy. Bad wolf, I should say. He exceeds the bathroom with towers on our waist. Leo eyes us both. He doesn't seem too pleased. Are you jealous, Leo, my dear? Hi, Lo. Oh, okay, so physic wise, uh, we can see that Filio is better with all the packs. Le Leo is still hot. As you know, different people like different types. Some people they like like furry with no packs. He gives the lion a nuzzle on the mouth. Filio to the stars! <laughs> he grabbed my shoulder and waited for the wolf to enter the room. I tense up. Lutus, I froze. His voice sent a cold spark on my spine. I avoided his gaze and focused on his pouch instead. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did you two do? We were kind of fighting for the scrub. He paused. That's it? Yeah, why? Nothing. Say. Huh? Question mark. By any chance, do you... I? He pauses again, but his hold slightly tightens. Never mind. Oh, Leo likes me. He pats my head. Oh, Leo and Filio, both brothers. Can I have them both? I don't want to choose. I just want both. He didn't sound angry, but we, he wasn't, didn't look too happy about it either. I stood by the door for a moment, quiet. I am such a lucky guy in this story. Flipping through the folded clothes in field dresser, I pull out a pair of neat ones, a plain white shirt and brown shorts, just in case I crap on myself. It was quarter to ten and all I needed to do left was to wait for the lion. I'm not the early bird type, but today was an exception, so I had to adjust. I plop on the sofa and switch to TV channels to find some cartoons just to kill the time. Nothing caught my eye until my thumb froze to a panda. His mouth held tight with an iron muscle. Oh, adorable. Breaking news, killer drug placa. What's that? Two victims of an assault reportedly found on the street earlier this morning. Authorities have linked the, the incident to a powerful synthetic called Plaka. Plaka is a well-known D, a potent, highly... <laughs> I scared of mentioning this word, the D word and also the A word because I scared of my video getting like some, some issue with uh, YouTube. Stimulant where people who take it go berserk for a healthy amount of time. It originated ages ago, in times before the war. The D 
was developed mainly as enhancers for soldiers in the military and with his aid, success was inevitable. But like every other D that existed, it had its own downsides. This particular D was a behemoth, unlike any other as if it was made by a demon. Those who took the D lost their minds, mauling everything inside, ripping the poor soul off the victim, their body in straits. Why suddenly mention about this, this thing? Am I on this? Oh my god, I wish this story is, is a good story which it would make me feel very sad like or maybe I'm just some like crazy uh, mind uh, screw up kind of wolf. The user also has high amount of pain tolerance as well, making themselves last longer in the battlefield. Thankfully, that ungodly version of the D was now replaced with a rather tame variety and is, is mostly used for another thing, like quenching one lustful desire. Ow! It increased one drive for pleasure and it showed effectively as the two victims has had hemorrhoids. <sighs> Are you serious? Another breaking news. Furry Vision novel server massively overrun by horny Brazilians. Netizens are concerned by the sudden rise of exotic mammalian horniness. <laughs> oh, horniness. Root of cause unknown. I'm glad I haven't checked the server for a while. Jumping off the sofa, I look at my own reflection on the window. I somehow look neat enough to pass as a real person. Looking really neat there, Leo said. Oh, nice shirt. Leo came in and instantly my eyes scanned all over the hot stuff. Silk smooth fur that glinted. The classic tuck-in shirt. Golden belt. Huh? Where, where is the golden belt? And the big package that bulged between his legs. I couldn't help but stare. I gulp. Um, I think this will look great on you. Taking a black cap from a shelf, he gave it a quick pat and placed it on my head. There, now you look like a champ. I look again at the window. I recognize the cap. Jet black with a print of a white pole. It was his cap. But this is... Um... You think he would he would be okay with it? He smiled. It's just gathering dust anyway. Besides, he would be happy that someone gets to use it. A quick heavy breath pressed against my chest. It somehow felt wrong to wear it. It didn't belong to me. I don't think it ever will. But Leo's bright face did not hint doubt. His blue gaze paused at me, seeming distant. I call him. Leo, Leo, huh? He jogs. Ah, right. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I was just waiting for you actually. Sorry, I had to get some stuff arranged back there. Anyway, let's go. Wow, Leo. The wolf entered the room, arms a foe. You look rather fancy today. Unlike any other of your work days. Anything going on? Better looking proper. <laughs> the wolf eyes spark on me. He walked closer. With a paw, he rubs the cap, riding it off dust. Better. Wanna come with us? The wolf scratched his ear. Um, I wanted to read through some things today. But he hummed, thinking intensely. Hurry up, we don't have all day. Ah, I'll go. Right then. You aren't gonna change? Nah, I'm already comfortable with this. <laughs> then scared you too. The two of us left the house first while Leo followed. The two of us quickly hopped in a car. A black SUV, wow, and the, the engine starts gently with a hum. We left off smoothly. 
then build up speed after we turn the corner. Okay, this place look like uh look like Japan. Is the game developer from Japan? I I really thought the game developer is from Western or Brazil or <laughs> um I've never been to the side of the town before. This side of the town. Taking a new route. I have been through here a couple of times actually. I just haven't taken you here yet. So a nerdy lion with glasses jogging around here once. He looked just like Leo. He was also buff as heck. Huh, <laughs> really? Oh, very relaxing background music. Like jazz or the outskirts of the town are entire green fields. Miles and miles of organic life stretch throughout the horizon, blanketing the view with a cool green haze. Though some ancient debris of what used to be houses still scattered throughout the farther fields. The road towards the city is a 30 minute drive, and about 20 if Leo floors it. But very unlikely since he's usually graceful on the road. I opened the window and the cool, minty smell of grass immediately entered my nose. While staring at this sight, I realized something. It was a godsend for myself being able to be in such grandeur of a home, the house I currently live in. Only a person with such a such a lineage of wealth is able to afford such big of a house. Maybe it to be given as an overly generous gift, a commentation of patriotism, because clearly Leo House was the only one that stood out from the rest in the area. I am too lucky. Rich brothers. Wow, I'm such a lucky guy. Lucky furry, and somehow a brewing feeling within me says that I don't deserve it. Hmm? Why? Land in the States after the revolution was scarce. It was there, but not free. Thus, for some of the survivors to temporarily leave off the streets of the center of New York. Eh? It's New York. Until the new coalition was able to shine light on their situation. Leo, always nice to drive by here. It's very peaceful. Yeah, the war sure changed a lot of things. It also changed the landscape here. Years ago, this area used to be mountains of black ash. <sighs> but I'm glad to see it bloom with life again. Life always make a way, huh? Glad that we were on Europe when it happened. Else we wouldn't be alive right now. Uh -huh. The States is now a very prosperous land, a place of opportunity born from adversity. What once used to be 10 states, two handful to name, is now merged into one massive state. Currently, we are living in the far east of what once was New York in a small town. This new generation, this whole land, is a blossom of peace, rekindling the burning flame in the hearts of many. Millions of lives were taken in the war, not much were blessed with more time. Village, town, city, even states were completely destroyed and only a few are able to remain active. Not a single soul was shown mercy during the tragedy. Blood was spilled and even the bravest soul never dared to help. I was there, but... It is a memory I'm not willing to recall, nor have I the strength to master and remind myself of, of it. Anywho, we all can be morose about it. Dwelling on the past will most likely lead us to nothing. We are all here living our life and continue being us. Lotus, 
By the way, why were you guys in Europe? Germany, yeah, it's the most beautiful place on earth. We used to live in, we used to live there before. Fern went to fulfill his duties here in the US. We are not really Germans. Well, I am, but feels American. Found him in a litter box from a porch on an American couple's house in Hamburg. After the war, we travel here and settle on a house the new government gave us. And Fun, he led a battalion, a prodigy in his age. The country loved him. Oh, I wish he never went. He muttered. I wish so too. But the world wouldn't be the way it is now if he didn't go. Filio, I know. It's just that things could have gone better. There was no other way then. I know, Leo. I'm just telling you that his sacrifice isn't in vain. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. After the rest of the silent drive, we stood by the sidewalk and I slid off my seat. My shoes thumbed on the asphalt road. The sensation on my soles were as light as a feather. I still hadn't gotten used to riding cars. I sat on a patch of grass, silent. Cool air seeped into my nose. The zesty grass made the wind more inviting. The wolf sat next to me. <sighs> what a weird day. Hmm. Hmm. I thought we are going to. Uh, the workplace. I really need to get over myself. Man, it's just really hard to get over someone. I mean, I'm really trying. It's just hard. I know the feeling. You are not alone. How do you know how it feels? Oh, right. I still want to find my dad someday, though. I know he's alive somewhere. Guess we have all got problems, huh? I guess so. I smile. Hey. Ah, oh, come on, me. Stop being such a baby. He jotted. The wolf jumped and stretched, showing the curve and linings on his arms. My eyes froze on the side. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Brain power! He stepped closer, flexing his arms and then his calf. Exercise! Ha! Huh. He goes for a jet off, jumping jacks, then a couple of swift side steps. <laughs> like a phoenix. I rise from the ashes. <laughs> he throws a barrage of punches in the air. He stops and flexes his biceps in front of my face. Okay, okay, that's too much. You like it? Of course. <laughs> no. Warm flush my cheeks. Just messing with ya. He pulls me in for a hug. Oh, so... <laughs> you <are laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm shy. It must be very warm, the heart, and also sweaty. <clears throat> you two stay here while I get the trolley from the shop. You wouldn't mind if you bring a piece of ice cream for me, would ya? I do mind. The lion turns his back with a swear of his half tail. There were tons of people today. All of them were fa hmm? what is this? Felonous and caninous. Each one differing in size. This part of the city only cater for the two species. The rest are in their own respective areas within the city as well. Though with all the people that I've seen around here, not one has matched this wolf in size. 
filial arms. Say the other day, look, filial arms are so nice to look at. I look at him. The cut shape of his bulky stature cool my fur. His eyes shone under the warm sun. I slowly slept, stepped closer. The fried chicken I left on the table. Inching even closer, my arm was now sticking onto him. My temples dripped cold sweat of anxiety. Again? Ah, crap. I painted. Oh my god, Filio is trying to flirt me all day long. Look. I didn't reply. My legs trembled and I held on the wolf shirt. Oh god, not now, please. My stomach grow in agony. The sharp pain act like a thousand needles. Look. Hey, I got the trolley. Let's get. The lion rushed to my side. I fell on my knees and held my stomach together. My face drenched in cold sweat. What happened to him? I don't know. He just started at acting up. Kid, kid! The lion showed me back and forth. Ah, stop! Lutus, Lutus! Oh my god, Leo. Please, I'm trying my best to hold my shit in. Huh? Oh! You could have just said so. Jeez, don't make us panic like that, kid. Just go to the restroom. There is, n there is no restroom here. My stomach rolled. I held my ass cheeks together as tight as I could. The one by the end of the park. Right, the one. Alright, you can go, but be quick. I gritted my teeth as I banged on the grass. I grabbed on to Leo's pants. Oh, I can't move. Oh, can't you just take a dump here? How about you try to get a dump in front of dozens of people, Filio? See how that would make you feel. Not that I haven't done that before. Well, that's because you lack decency. Hey, I didn't complain when you took a piece right next to me in the pool. <laughs> Leo, I think Leo is feeling embarrassed. It's the public swimming pool. It didn't really matter. It matters. I didn't hear you complain about it. Don't lie to me. You even said you liked the little warm spot. What? I didn't say that. You talk about public decency and yet you don't even set a good example. Fine then. Since you think that we shouldn't be ashamed of being wild animals. Lutus, take a shit right here. You hypocrite. Do you even know the first thing to being shameless? Lutus, take a shit at the center of the park where everyone can see. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. He might as well take a shit in the middle of the street. Go and live stream it live while you are at it. Ugh. I sweat profusely. The strength between my legs could no longer hold it together. I was almost ready to give up but I didn't want to lose in shame. Not like this. I grunted. Lute, hold on. The wolf lifted me off ground and slammed me on his shoulder. Yes, that is what I want. One arm fastened around my waist. I felt even worse. I closed my eyes. Ugh! Don't lose hope yet. He spring sprinted with determination. Rocky! Like in a horseback riding championship, he was in the lead. No, more than that. He's that one guy that springs in the marathon. The world was flipped and shaking up and down. Oh, so nice! I like... I like how the game developer make the graphic, make the scene uh, upside down. I felt people eyes on me as we shifty passed by dozens of strangers, but no awkwardness would ever replace a crap feel underwear. We are here! The wolf gently lands me down in front of the door to be to the bathroom. I jump in and instinctively shut the door with a bang. Man, that took you a while. Yeah. Sorry, my stomach acted up out of nowhere. Must be me being too nervous. Hey, happens to me too. Don't worry about it. I'm glad nothing happened to my pants though. It would have been a big problem if I accidentally... Um, you know. 
By the way, this feels rather nostalgic, doesn't it? Um, I look around, the brick walls, the peel floor, the vending machine, it was all here. I glanced at the wolf and he seemed to be smiling. Um, been quite a while since we went here. Yeah, the last time we visited here was, I think a few months ago. Yeah, we don't visit the, visit the park too often. This, this was our meeting place, where I was found and taken by the wolf. Funny how it just seemed like a distant memory. Let's go, we don't want to keep the, the old man waiting. Ah, right. Okay, so this, how we met? Wow, I was surprised. I think I'm, I think I was just, I'm just too, too gorgeous. Too good to be true. That's why they hit on me and then they brought me back home. The soles of my shoes crunched on the ground on our way back. I kept my pace behind the wolf. Being a few inches shorter than him, I stared at his back. First soft, bright, and looked as thin as cotton candy, I felt like I could melt it with a damn finger. He looks kinda like him in the back wheel. So romantic. The burly arms push it here. The grey fur, ooh, that glistened in daylight, minus the scars. Oh, he, he, he even has a scar? They say that the friends you have make up who you are. Oh, does that mean that your friends are gay too, Pa? Oh, oh, what? What do you mean by that? I do, I don't know. You seem like it, Pa. Uh, but seriously, people around you, who you hang with, mold you into what you be. You will be. Yeah. So, make sure to get friends that that are good. Yeah. So your friends, Pa, are they good too? Uh, I suppose. He nervously chuckled. Good friends, huh? Took you some time. Yeah, he, ha he had a hard time in that store. I hope he's not hiding anything in his pants. <laughs> he closely examined my face. Or oh, is he? I haven't shed on my pants. Don't worry. Right then, let's get started. Leo pushed the pink trolley towards us. Its umbrella standing upright with the color as same as the pink paint of the trolley. We stood there silently, waiting for the lion to utter his next command. Nice music! This game developer is a very good uh, in creating game with good background music. The wolf stares at me, he smiles. So what now? Um, what do you mean? What do we do next? We wait. I knew it. I knew it's gonna be one of those boring jobs. No one forced you to come, you know? I was expecting something something a bit livelier, at least. Selling ice cream is not as fun and exciting as you would in a brothel. Basically, normal jobs aren't as fun as you think. Psst. No one needs to hear references of your sexual escapades. Lo. What? I didn't say anything like that. Hey, Lud, have I told you about the time I caught him going to a bar once and found him hanging around with... Guys. He whispered to me, Guys. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, he did. A lot of them came out to him and would sometimes graze their hands around Leo's tights. You know what he did next? What? He tensed up and quickly noped out of the bar. The wolf cackled. I can't see you in a similar situation where you would enjoy being sexualized without consent. I'm sorry, you're right, I don't. He sighed. But hell, I'll never storm out a bar sweating and shaking. <laughs> he roared in laughter again. Oh, now I can see Leo. He's a mature guy, but very innocent. Just as the wolf was in tears, laughing to himself, a small child walked up to us. Oh, okay, kid, show them what you got. I swallow. 
Here goes. Hey, what can I get ya? Yeah? I hesitated looking at the kid's eye. It was a panther with fur jet black. Fan. The kid muttered. What was that? Van. Van? Golf? The seemingly timid child hit his hands and kicked on the soil. Vanilla. Oh, oh, hey. I stared at Leo for a second. I forgot you ca- cats have really sharp eyes. Eh, sharp ears. <laughs> the lion shrugged. Vanilla, huh? The kid nodded. Just a second. Leo prepared the ice cream, a medium-sized cone topped with three scoops of vanilla. It looked small in his paws, but large enough on mine. He careful, carefully hands it to me, and I give it to the kid. Hand! I slightly anger my head in confusion. He says, hold out your hand. Oh! Wait, how did you know that? The child then dropped a small coin on my palm and ran. I raised you, remember? Huh, I don't remember being a shy kid. That's what you think. You often used to hide behind my back a lot whenever we meet up with people on our travels. Um, really? Anyways, good job, Lutus. Alright, let's go for lunch now. I'm starving. What? I just sell. I just sold one ice cream, that's all? I was living. I was basically living in a mansion. But we didn't even last for 30 minutes. Well, it's lunch time and I don't like being starved. I took out my phone and it glowed the time, something past 12. He's right, Leo, it's past lunch time already. <sighs> I guess we will continue this after we eat. What do you two want for lunch? I'll just have what you guys have. Um, he rubbed his chin, closing his eyes while thinking. Your treat? No. Then we'll just have to settle on your ice cream right here. I don't really have money on me too, sorry. Yep, I left my wallet back home. What? How do you not bring anything? Fine, my treat. Thanks, big brother, but but only just this once. Alright, so where do we eat? Resto bar, more JFC, resto bar. I'll choose. JFC, eh? Eh? No, 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 just now I choose Resto Bar. I'll choose. Eh? JFC again? Fast food, quite unhealthy, don't you think? You want Lutus to decide then? Oh, okay, I see. Well, kid. Um, I don't really have a say in this. It's your money after all, yo. See? You should learn a thing or two from him, Phil. He's got modesty. You should have raised me to be one then. I tried but did not kept dragging your tail whenever he went. He was way more fun than you. Dino? Our eldest brother. Alright. Oh, I'm fun too, just so you know. Yeah, like reading books. Bah, whatever. Hee <laughs> hee. After waiting a few minutes, the stand-in for me had arrived. It was a jaguar in pink uniform. He and Leo had a small exchange, then the jaguar knotted his pink hat and pushed the trolley forward. That guy will take care of everything for a while. He'll return to his shift back in the shop after lunch though, so we best not take our time. Let's go! Let's go, kid. Okay guys, I think that's it for today. Mm. Is progressing well and the pace is fast. I like just now the shower scene so much, but now I'm getting scared because just now the news was very alarming. Since three of us were in war before, so I scared that maybe three of us were a addict. Okay. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and look forward to part 3. Thank you. Bye.